Hey to Shovel Crew, welcome to the newest episode of Cherry Pops. As you can see, I don't have a Cherry Pop today, but I do have a Pop. As a matter of fact, it is the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Purple Thunder. So I got that grape. So, I may not have a, a Cherry Pop today, but at least I got that, right? Um, so today, um, we are going with, uh, Necromancer. This is the Vinegar Syndrome, uh, release, um, from a, from a few years ago. Obviously, I've never watched it. It wouldn't be on Cherry Pops. Uh, they got a nice little slip. This one was, uh, limited to 4,000 copies. I'm guessing the copies with this, uh, actual slip, which the slip to me is kind of bogus because... I think it's a beautiful slip, don't get me wrong. But the fucking, it's it's like a top loader, you know, a la like fucking like 80s VHS cassettes, you know. So it was, that was pretty cool. But whenever I put the Blu-ray case back in there, it fucking catches that top plastic part. And it fucking, it's like fucking curling it up. So that's kind of fucking bogus. Um, but, you know, just, it's, it's not fucking the cover up or anything like that. So, I guess I'm not going to complain too much. Um, well, will I like it? Let's find out. Okay, so first things first. Let's get this out of the way. How was that purple? Great. I can bake a cake. Um, it was very good. It was like uh, that spree candy, you know, that that real kick in your mouth candy. Um, it ta it tasted really good. Now onto the movie. The music, uh, it's very very eighties, which you would expect. It's movies, you know, from the eighties, late late eighties, right? So to be expected. And I love eighties music, but this music, oh wasn't the best um the story the story was fine it, it was it was pretty decent um it was a a story that's kind of triggering uh so going knowing that maybe you know research that a little bit um the 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 real downer really is the uh the cutaway kills i mean you know, the gore hound in me just, just, I hate those fucking cutaway kills. And, and sometimes cutaway kills, budgetary reasons, I guess. I don't know if that was the case here. Uh, not only do you get the cutaway kills, you don't even have the after, after effects, you know. And sometimes I can make up for the cutaway kills and not, not here. You're not, you're not going to find that here. The acting, the acting was 80s horror. What else do I need to say, you know? What else do I need to say? It is 80s horror. Uh, Elizabeth Cantan. Oh my gosh, she was gorgeous. Um, just just outstanding. Um, you know, I really wish she was in more stuff. I know she was in like uh, Friday the 13th Part 7. Um, she had a part there. Um, and I believe she was in Silent Madness, which I own and have not watched yet. I have to get on that. Um, but for, for, for the cast, I mean, it was, you know, not a lot of names that you recognize, you know, but, uh, the male population of this movie were fucking scum. I mean, <laughs> there, there was one guy, uh, Ernest, he gave me that Arnie vibe from Christine. I don't know what it is about Arnie. Because I, I keep going back to him, like, with all these movies, like, you know, uh, Halloween Ends. I did the same thing. But Ernest, uh, his story doesn't develop like Arnie's does. But something about his vibe, especially, you know, when we first meet him, it really, really, really made me think of uh, Arnie. The demon design was fucking horrible. Luckily, we didn't have to see it much. Uh, luckily, most of the time we saw the demon, uh, you know, it was Elizabeth playing the demon. So, uh, that demon is on, oh, God, I'm, I'm glad, you know, a lot of that didn't make it in. 
there was a scene where the character Eric was wearing a a buckwheat shirt, and that was a little sus. Uh, I don't don't believe that was probably in uh, tribute, probably more in jest, and that uh, mm. the Blu-ray special features. Um, you know, you you only get three. But, uh, one being a interview with the director, which you like ran for like 55 minutes, which is fucking awesome. The kind of down point to that was, is it was uh 2020 style. So you had the, um, you had the whole zoom meeting type thing going on, which I mean, honestly, we're doing that, you know, on YouTube all the time. Right. But, uh, you know, for special features, it's a little like, uh, but you know, it is 55 fucking minutes, so that is pretty good. Um, then there was uh, um, an interview, I believe, around 15 minutes uh, with the, the the actor that played Paul, which was one of the main protagonists and one of the scuzziest scums of the movie. Um, and then Ernest was another interview, and I believe that one was around 12 minutes. Uh so, but both both of the, the the interviews with the actors was you know very uh, very well shot um, and produced. The picture quality was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'd imagine this is my first time to uh, see the movie, obviously, hence Cherry Pop. But I'd imagine there's not a better looking version of this out there anywhere. Um, I believe it was a, a 4K scan. Um, this will probably be my forever copy. I probably will not be picking it up. I won't be doing any type of upgrades, anything like that, I'm sure. Where I enjoyed the movie, um, and I would probably, I'll probably throw it in again. It's not like something I'm going to fucking, you know, want to upgrade all the time, right? Have you seen the movie? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments. Um, uh, and while you're at the page, go ahead and, uh, give me a subscribe. It don't cost you anything. Do me a favor. Stay spooky, and until next time, keep it disheveled.